So Mr. Brandon, you work with students with special needs, neurotypical students, and students with autism spectrum disorder, grades K to 12. Can you talk to us a little bit about this, the physical needs of students with autism versus your other students? Uh, autism being a neurological disorder, uh, that is key in your motor development all the way from when you're a baby and as you progress and get older. So individuals on the autism spectrum have that neurological disorder, so they also have um, impaired motor skills. So individuals on the spectrum uh, will need a little bit of help with uh, some of their motor development. And motor development has a big key in uh, brain function and brain development and how the brain uh, utilizes and transfers in information between both hemispheres. So when you say that they need some help with motor development, what are some of the interventions or strategies that you use to help with that motor development? Uh, we do a lot of crossing the midline. So if you draw a line down the center of your body and separate it between a left and a right side, uh, that involves uh, right side of the brain, left side of the brain. So midline crossing activities will take uh, a body part from the right side of your body and use it to cross over to the left side of the body crossing the midline. Uh, that forces the brain to utilize information from both the left and the right hemispheres and the more efficient they can become in utilizing information between the left and right hemispheres the more they can conquer their midline issues which will relate to other disorders such as dyslexia and memory retention and being able to uh, regurgitate information from their memory stores in the right brain. What are some other things that you see as a need for students with autism versus other students? Uh, physically speaking, uh, individuals, uh, let's say they have higher functioning autism, such as Asperger's syndrome, uh, they have a tendency to be uh, clumsy. So that's your balance and your coordination. So we target a lot of balance and coordination activities, not only to increase their gross motor skills in that area, but also to increase, uh, and also to, um, increase the function of the parts of their brain like their hypothalamus and their vestibular systems that deal with balance and coordination. And what are some things that a teacher can use in his or her classroom to help with these needs? Uh, in, integrating a lot of right brain teaching uh, and physical activity into their classroom has positive effects on the brain and uh, when you have students on, on the autism spectrum uh, they will tend to be more left or right brain. So when you incorporate learning activities that involve left and right side of the brain, uh, it increases their ability to perform at a higher level. And do you enjoy working with students with autism spectrum disorder? I really enjoy working with students on the autism spectrum. Uh, every, every student is so unique uh, with, with their needs and their personalities. And it's, it's always a pleasure. Thank you.